I lead what's called an inquiry area. Uh, and specifically, I'm looking at gene environment interactions. This is the output of 400 plus scientists just trying to explain all of genetics here, right? Again, wouldn't it be great to use this for research in preterm birth? The idea is to come up with the, the genes and environmental factors that together we can start to understand why we're having this problem and then use that as a predictor in the future to who might get this problem so we can intervene sooner. What we're trying to do is who, what, and why. Can we use any of this data to figure out who is going to get preterm birth before they have it? Okay, can we come up with, for example, diagnostic biomarkers, some way that we could tell someone's going to get that? Because that would help us enable better who, what we could do about it. Creating a transdisciplinary center like this is a brand new way to think about doing science. The point of being transdisciplinary is to not just talk to each other, but even influence how we each other do our research. People have spent a lot of effort trying to do this, uh, looking for genetic predictors for preterm birth. But we, I mean, again, using this data, but mashing it up with the RNA data, with the environmental data, maybe there is some signal there if we approach it from multiple different perspectives instead of just from the DNA. Let's get to the environment. So it's not all about genes, genes, genes. Obviously, there's a lot of environmental factors out there, and we know that they lead to a lot of different disorders, heart disease and the rest. And the question is, how much of this can play a role in, ter in terms of preterm birth? Uh, one can only be excited about the potential here. Let's keep leveraging that data that the rest of the world is doing, and let's, let's use that for preterm birth.